Hi everyone, it's really nice to meet you. So my name is Ellie and I am the new City Sprouts Garden Educator here at King Open. And you all can call me Gardener Ellie. And today I thought that we could explore the garden here at King Open a little bit because that is actually where I am right now. And I thought it could be fun for you to see what your garden has been up to over the summer. And we can also get our feet a little wet by starting to think about what we see in the garden that is living and what we see in the garden that maybe isn't living anymore. And so let's go ahead and take a look at what we can find. So here is a broad view of our garden here at King Open. And now let's go and take a closer look at what is growing in the garden. So as we take a look through the garden, let's pay really close attention to what we see that is living and what we see that maybe looks a little bit dead. And as we go through the garden, let's practice our observation skills. So let's really think closely about what we see and why we see what we see. Let's take a close look at this plant. So what do we observe about this plant? And if I use some gentle hands and give it a touch, Ooh, this plant is really scratchy, and actually when I rub this direction, it feels a little bit like Velcro. Can you hear that? It's really scratchy, actually. That was a bit surprising for me. And if we look a little bit closer, what do we see down here? Now, would you say that this plant is alive? Or would you say that it's dead? And why? Here we have a couple pieces of a log in one of our garden beds. Now, would you say that this piece of log is alive? Or is it dead? And now, do you think this piece of log will stay here on top of the soil forever? If not, where do you think it would go? What will actually happen to this piece of log over time? Let's take a close look at this plant. So what do you notice about this plant? If we look back here, there's something really round and white. Do you recognize that? So this is actually an eggplant. So if we come around over here, you can see that this is a white eggplant. Now would you say this eggplant is alive? If we look down here, here is a leaf of the eggplant that fell off a long time ago. And if we take a close observation of that, what do you notice about this leaf? And how do you think this leaf will continue to change over time? And now looking at this leaf, what do you think happens to our dead plants in the garden after they die? Looking at this leaf, I observe that it seems like it's shrunken quite a bit. And if we look really closely, there's actually some little insects running around in there. And I wonder what those little insects are doing. What do you notice? Now that we've had a chance to take a closer look at our garden, I'm really curious to see what sort of observations you all made, especially what sort of observations you made about some of the dead things that we found in the garden. And I'm really curious to think about what happens to those dead things in the garden over time. And where do dead things actually go? That's something I'm wondering about after taking this little garden exploration. And now, if we want to start thinking about these questions a little bit deeper, we can now make a drawing in our science notebook and make a drawing of something that you saw that was living and something that you saw that was dead in the garden. 
and as we draw, let's pay really close attention to the details, and let's make these drawings very large so that we can really pay attention to what we're looking at. And feel free to also add some notes and questions to go along with your drawings as well. For instance, if I'm going to draw that picture of a leaf that we saw on the soil, I might add some questions like, why did we see so many insects in that leaf? That's something that I might add to my notes. But I'm really curious to see what sort of observations you made, and I'm really excited to dive deeper into this question of what happens to dead things over time. But until our next lesson, and we'll dive even deeper into that question. Bye everyone!